Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all doing very well, and today guys, we're going to be talking about my most played Call of Duty in recent years. So, just for some context, I love Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, but I hate the systems behind it, so I do play it regularly often. But beside Modern Warfare 3, I also played Modern Warfare 2. I played it for like the first month, and I instantly regretted purchasing it. Then Modern Warfare 2019, I skipped Vanguard, I skipped Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which was honestly the most decent Call of Duty we were getting in a long time. And unfortunately, with the nine months of development time that Treyarch had, uh, it was severely flawed. But the last Call of Duty before those games that I had put so much time and effort was, it was Black Ops ops 3 i was going to be a freshman at the time and i think i was in eighth grade when this game had came out i had asked my stepdad to get me the game at the time and he bought me a brand new pair of headphones and it was during christmas time so that's typically when call of duty games come out so they can get purchased during the holiday season making activision more money um but beside that time i had gone to about prestige 4 um, you know, and I went back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this weekend and just recorded some gameplay to see how it was doing, you know, just to see how Call of Duty has changed over the years. First things first, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Black Ops 4. I just thought it was a copy and paste of Black Ops 3, obviously without jetpacks and the advanced movement, but I know it was a futuristic game. You know, it was a prequel to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which... Uh, I just genuinely didn't like again couldn't get into that game I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about Black Ops 4 me personally I kind of just skipped it because I didn't really like it I mean it was just one of those games where I just really didn't enjoy but Black Ops 3 was such a casual experience for me and I didn't know how it worked at the time. You know, advanced movement. I think the next game that followed it was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Everyone's like, oh, this was such a masterpiece, an underrated game. No, guys. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was mid. It was just an okay game. It was another carbon copy and paste of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But please don't get it twisted. I do have a few issues with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I think the two biggest issues that I have are the paid DLC and the egregious black market supply drops. I hated supply drops so much. You had to pay for all this content and it was absolute bull crap, man. Absolute bull crap. I hated it. Literally, as I was logging in when I recorded my gameplay, uh, I went to the black market just to see if I can get anything. And I literally got like some legendary skin or something <clears throat> for like Nomad or something. And I do not use Nomad. I don't even remember any like meta guns or anything. I know the VMP was like such a powerhouse. Um, but you know, as much as I really just did not like the supply drops, I also really did not like the fact that you had to pay for map packs. I think Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 really dived deep into this and made that system overall better. Uh, free content was always the route to go with Call of Duty, but you know, that had some drawbacks. You know, I think with supply drops getting taken out um, and free content coming in, I think they had to step back and obviously look at how are we going to make more money and see how we're doing, you know, obviously because they got rid of um, paid map packs and stuff too. And I'm happy Modern Warfare 2019, as bad as it is, it took that out, you know? But honestly, playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in 2024 has probably been one of the most nostalgic things I've done this year so far, and the year just started. But playing and having a casual experience with no skill-based matchmaking or not having anything to worry about, you know, beside me being just good as I am, you know, on the casual experience, I, I think Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was the last genuine Call of Duty that I actually enjoyed. I got to Prestige 4, I got the SMG's Diamond, that's how much I love this game. 
but um yeah guys i mean that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy i don't want to make this too long oh yeah and before i do also end off the video i also tried zombies zombies wasn't bad i really think black ops 3 was the last enjoyable zombies experience but black ops 3 was genuinely genuinely the best zombies experience we had right you know drys and draka and then to top it all off all the other maps i forgot kind of the names of it go rod crovey uh what was the last one called i can't really remember but yeah guys that's gonna have to wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace out